20-month-old Heba was in her mother's arms when clouds of tear gas meant to disperse protesters on the streets entered their home. They tried to flee outside, but were met with pallets fired from Indian police. As soon as I tried to open the metal wire mesh door to get out, a soldier outside fired pellets at us. Instinctively, I covered Hiva's eyes with my hand, but pellets broke through the net and one lodged in her right eye. The tragedy surrounding Hiva Jan isn't out of the ordinary. Since 2010, Indian forces in Kashmir have used pallets fired from shotguns to quell protesters. Although touted as being non-lethal, the pallets have left hundreds blind and many dead. It has been described as the dead eye epidemic, the first mass blinding in modern history. While Heber may have become the youngest victim of the recent violence, those pushed to pick up arms aren't much older. Mudasir Rashid and Sakib Bilal were friends. In August, both went missing before photos of them heavily armed went viral. Just three months later, they were killed in fighting with Indian forces. Sakib was 17 and Mudasir was only 14, making him the youngest rebel killed in the three decade old armed uprising. This year alone, more than 500 people, including unarmed civilians, have been killed making it the deadliest year in a decade. Landlocked between nuclear rivals India and Pakistan, Kashmir is one of the oldest political disputes in the world. Since 1947, the two countries have fought three wars to wrest control of the entire territory, which they currently administer in parts, making it the world's most militarized zone. Since 1989, the Indian state's military crackdown on an uprising has led to widespread human rights abuses. According to reports, more than 70,000 Kashmiris have been killed, and one out of four Kashmiris have been tortured, with thousands being subjected to what has been called forced disappearances. Hundreds of Indian soldiers have also been accused of sexual violence against women. But India has insisted that it is fighting a deadly insurgency and that the rebels have been armed and trained by Pakistan. The country's military leadership say their heavy-handed tactics will continue, despite widespread criticism. Pakistan's new Prime Minister Imran Khan has pushed for a dialogue with India to resolve the decades-old dispute. But India has ruled out the possibility of a resumption of talks unless Pakistan stops what India calls cross-border terror activities. But unless and until Pakistan stops terrorist activities in India, there will be no dialogue. And as doctors struggle to save Heba's eyesight, only time will tell if she grows up to see a lasting peace. Omar Kablan, Straight Talk.